Hello everyone. So today I'm using White Davies Sift and I used it a few days ago but I told you that I was going to give you a review. This is the review now. So I'm sifting some soil. This soil that I've got here, the soil that I revitalize um, during autumn. So that's the soil here. So I'm sifting some because I'm going to be planting a few things today. So here goes. <laughs> And look at that, that is so beautiful. So we've got this left and um, that is so beautiful. So this, by the way, I put back into the soil itself. So we've got some worms, there's a worm there, there's a one there. So I'm just gonna put them back inside here. So, so this is what I'm doing today. So I'm sifting quite a few of it and see. So yeah, so the sifter is perfect. It's working brilliantly, so I'm very, very excited and happy. Okay, so here goes. So after I finish sifting everything, I'm just going to add some because I'm making my potting mix to do a little bit this of soil that I've got here is a mixture of castings and compost. So I'm just going to add some eggshells to this as well. And then this is for, I call it drainage. And I'm just going to mix everything in. So I had it probably about half a cup of eggshells. Okay, so now that I've mixed this all the way through, I'm just going to put it into the container that I'm going to be planting in. I bought fruits in this here, so this is what I'm going to be using. It has got holes in the bottom, so it's fine. And I'm just going to... I do not want it all the way to the top because I want this to act as a greenhouse. I'm just gonna put up the others so this one I put some cardboard inside here and the reason for this is so that when I am transplanting them it's easy for me to just pop them out of each um, section Now this one remains the same. So guys, this is how I make my potting mix. And I'll be doing quite a few more during the week. Okay, so now I'm just going to be planting my seeds and you would have seen my previous video where I told you how I save my seeds, store them and organize them as well. So we're in the month of January, today is the 2nd and I will be planting these. And...
first ones I will be planting. It's quite cold outside, by the way. These are my chilies, and these are the orange ones. I definitely will be planting some more. I've also got to label them as well, so I'll be labeling them too. So I'm going to do my orange chili first. And I think I'm just going to be putting two or three. So now I'm just going to plant the scotch bonnet peppers. I'm just going to put two in each. I'll probably be yeah, at two, just two in each. I'm just going to label this one. So this one has got scotch bonnet peppers. So basically I just get a tape and a marker, permanent marker, and just write the date and what is there. Okay, so now I'm finished, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put back everything. And then I'm just going to water these down and put them on the windowsill. So I bought a greenhouse and a mini greenhouse for the garden. I'm just putting it together at the moment. So that's how far I got. So I'm gonna be doing the rest. It's quite easy. It's not that difficult. Okay, so let's finish this thing.
Okay. Perfect. I don't know if you guys can see what I just did. So
yes so georgie decided that she should come and help me there she is so she did her little bit by sniffing it that's what they tend to do okay so they're very excited today because i'm outside so they like the fact that i'm outside so they're all outside i think there's only one of them that's not outside so georgie's outside sophia is outside sophia's that little black one over there georgie's that one over there and then tobias is on the fence he likes it out here anyway okay enough of them so that is my mini greenhouse so we will be putting a few things inside here i'm not going to be putting my peppers because i don't trust outside just yet because it's quite cold so i don't trust outside yet to put my peppers out in the greenhouse so i'm not going to chance it so the peppers will stay on the windowsill inside the kitchen and they stay there until i'm ready to transplant them we will see what happens so this is my mini greenhouse i'm so excited about that i will be putting some plants inside here and give you update on how it's going thank you very much for watching if you do like this video please go ahead and give me a like if you want to see more videos like these please subscribe to my channel thank you bye